if you are keen on the idea of having your own children, I would say proceed with caution when it comes to Village of the Damned. I'm actually a little bit torn about how I feel with this film, and that's one of the reasons why I want to discuss this today. Because, on the one hand, the premise is incredible, and I thought it sounded absolutely fantastic. And, on the other hand, I I was a little bit disappointed with it. Now, I will say that this is the 1995 remake. That was a specific reason why I watched that. I haven't seen the 60s version of this. I'm not sure how it compares from the description, it sounds quite similar, um, but if you have seen both, please do let me know if the original's better or if they're completely different. But today I'm just talking about the potential remake. And the reason that I wanted to watch this initially is because Kirsty Alley is in this. And she's beautiful in this, she's absolutely fantastic. And also it was directed by John Carpenter, which for me is, is a win. And I thought, you know, this is a great combination, and the plot sounded amazing. So after there, after something happens one night, all of the women in this little village become pregnant. And obviously they all kind of have these babies on the same day. Very quickly, this happens within the first kind of 10, maybe 20 minutes of the film. And the rest of the film is about watching these children grow up. Kirsty Alley plays a doctor who is investigating why this happened because of course nobody knows how, how this could ever possibly have happened and she's also doing some studies with some of the babies that unfortunately or fortunately depending on how you look at the film but some of the babies that did not um, make it to try and work out what, how, what happened and it quickly becomes apparent that these children are well some of these children are quite evil and they start to control their parents and make them do pretty, pretty nasty things. I won't spoil it by saying what, but, you know, they make their parents hurt themselves and things. And that is a premise, whether I should admit this or not, that sounded incredible. Demon children who can control the adults. Fantastic. Unfortunately, I didn't think the execution was anything remarkable. Much to my own surprise. I thought the first third of the film, or however long it is, when they're before the kids are born, I thought that was incredible. Once the children grow up, because the children become, I don't know, maybe seven, eight years old by the end of the film, um, we kind of see them very quickly grow up into children who can talk and walk and, you know, be strong enough to control the parents. I thought it was it just lost a lot of its interest once the children be became of an age where they could control because I thought that was executed very poorly. I didn't think there was enough control. I thought a lot of the control was just very dull. They didn't do very much. I wanted them to do more with the adults. I wanted them to really hurt them. Not because I'm sadistic or evil or horrible. Well, arguably, but because it would be fantastic entertainment and it's like, how far can you push this? How far can you go with these children and what can you make them do in their children? Can you really be mad at them? But it turns out, uh, yeah, they just, I feel like they just didn't really explore that as much as they could have done. And yes, part of the film was the children being evil. Part of the film was trying to work out who they were, how they got there and you know, what they're going to do with them. And and that was interesting. It wasn't particularly climactic when they worked it out or when the children started to give tidbits of information. It wasn't really thrilling. And yet when I finished watching the film, I thought, hmm, wasn't so bad. But when I was watching it, certainly as I said, from around the first, maybe I'll say the second half, it just wasn't that exciting, but on hindsight, it was alright, so I'm left feeling quite confused. Without a doubt, it did not live up to my expectations. Kirstie Alley completely did live up to my expectations, because I very much have been in love with her since I was four years old. But the rest of the film just wasn't great. Visually, it was interesting. The special effects and things were pretty cool. Especially given the time, um, 1995. But other than that, it was just meh. So would I recommend you watch it? 
yeah, sure. Watch it just so we can discuss it, so we can see if I'm just missing something. But I certainly am very interested to go back and watch the original and see how it compares. If you've seen either this Village of the Damned or the previous, let me know. If you haven't seen it and you have the chance, go for it. It's... it's alright. <laughs>